At 41 years of age, Jeff Sinelli already has founded three distinct restaurant concepts, and there's no telling when his innovative streak will end. As Chief Vibe Officer for Dallas-based Witch Witch and Burgesa Burger, Sinelli is all about keeping things positive. He likens work to play, and he keeps things upbeat with employees and customers alike. Driven, detail-oriented, and a man on the go, Sinelli is riding a wave of success that shows no signs of drying up. I'm Ellen Kodiff, Editor-in-Chief of Food Channel Pro. Let's pull back the curtain on Jeff Sinelli and see what makes him a leader with guts. Today we're talking to Jeff Sinelli, Chief Vibe Officer of Witch Witch and Burgesa Burger, about his incredible food service journey. Jeff, let's start off with innovation. Where do you get all your ideas? You know, it's, uh, I live on this great place called Earth, and they're everywhere. We do a lot of traveling as a family, and um, um, you'd be surprised what can spark an idea. Uh, for instance, we were down in Argentina, and we noticed that uh, ham was being used as a condiment, and that, that led to a, a new hamburger concept for me. Or we were watching the Mongolian barbecue from London come to Detroit and picking up on that energy. And, um, you know, the, the ideas are everywhere. I mean, they're in magazines, they're in travel, they're, they're in the news. Um, all you have to do is wake up, open your eyes, and, you know, smell the roses, and they appear. And you've, you've founded three distinct concepts. Is there a certain point, you had Genghis Grill, then you had Witch Witch, and now Burgesa Burger. Is there a certain point where the innovation is the most fun for you? Um, I'm a serial restaurant tour entrepreneur, and um, it's almost a little bit psychotic. I love the genesis of a new idea. Um, it, it comes natural to me, but um, through my life, I just I've developed restaurant and bar and entertainment concepts, and um, it just it's it's natural. What other industries do you look at that you think are really innovative? for ideas? Uh, I, I'm a big student of the hospitality industry and I think that goes into hotel, travel, even airlines um, where you're providing an escape or an experience for someone to go to another destination. In the restaurant industry we provide a you know, half an hour to a couple hour escape. Uh, travel is the same way, you're, you're from home. So I, I find innovation and just ideas um, around the country and in travel related companies. And do you find that you get a lot of feedback from your customers about the smallest innovations? You know, the customer is very vocal, um, especially with the technology advances of the internet where they can anonymously, you know, send an inquiry to the corporate office. So they're 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 more vocal than they were years ago because they would either have to do it in person, which time's valuable, or they would get on the phone. But now through the internet, uh, the customers, the smallest little detail, whether it's the restroom was dirty or the food was not prepared properly, uh, they let you know. Mm -hmm. What innovation throughout your career are you the most proud of so far? Well, it's, uh, I hate to say my daughter's story, but uh, I have a newborn, of, she's a year and a half, that's that's my best work yet, I think. But in the in the in the restaurant side, um, I'm really excited about the Witch Witch. It's a it's a it's a brand that I started literally when I was five years old, mentally. And throughout high school and college, I ate a lot of sandwiches, and I continued to consume a bread and protein type of product daily. And which, which for me is a lifelong journey. So mm -hmm. I'm most excited about that because it, it's not, it's not, it's never been a job for me. It's always been a lifestyle and a way of life. So I wake up and I play mm -hmm. this game called Which Which. So obviously, you know, you spent your child in Michigan, which is now you live in Dallas. So I would assume that you see this going to all 50 states and beyond. Mm -hmm. you know, there's there's a lot of room to grow our sandwich brand domestically, but uh, uh, it. One of the goals for me personally is to bring our team to China or some other country and sit there and see how it translates into another language. Mm -hmm. Because I think sandwiches are universal. Exactly. Now you're young, you're still young, you've founded three companies, but what are you seeing in the next generation of restaurant operators, the, the people that you work with that are younger? What kind of thinking innovation-wise are you seeing in that group? The younger restaurateurs 
I think are going to be um, create real niche concepts because they're um, I don't think they're getting exposed to the fine dining and the casual dining that I grew up in because a lot of those are um, out of reach for them. You know, they have very short attention spans because they're texting and they're on the internet and they're very technological um, in their environment. So the, the, the Starbucks, which focuses on a, a coffee or, um, um, you know, Five Guys is just focused on the burger. Those are the concepts I think that are going to be relevant now. Single purpose concepts or single item um, where 80% of the menu is on a core item. For instance, there might be dumpling concepts or um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a single food item is I think where the, the younger generations are going to focus their development. And you know, for someone just starting out and thinking about innovation, how they get their arms around it in the restaurant industry, is there a certain area that you can innovate within that would provide the greatest financial rewards? Is it marketing? Is it technology? Is it the food area? Is it human resources? Is there one that really helps the bottom line the most? The, uh, I, I think it's a blend of everything. If you're going to get in the restaurant industry, you have to be have a little expertise in the technology, in the food, in the purchasing, in the real estate. Uh, right now, I think there's tremendous opportunity in real estate. You know, there's been a market correction, and uh, the real estate prices. If you're prepared, you can take advantage of them right now. So, um, and also technology. Technology. We, there were companies years ago that I still remember. Sambo's, for instance, made it into the thousands of units. And they did that just on a telephone and sometimes not talking to their corporate office for months at a time. That's just mind-blowing and mind-numbing for me to think that you could grow so fast without your cell phone or your, your, your internet. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And can you let us in on what innovations you're working on now? Wow. That's uh, literally there's a dozen ideas spinning in my mind. I'm working on innovations within which which, which are extremely important. There are we focused on sandwich. I mentioned that the new concepts coming up are so focused on a, a singular product. We focus on sandwiches, but there are other forms of sandwiches that um, that we're working on. Um, we run a, a hoagie uh, esque type sub sandwich, but there are ethnic bread types, whether it's naan or pita. Uh, there's wraps. We want to be known for sandwiches in whatever form they come in. So um, we're a hot sandwich concept. One of the innovations we're working on is the flip of what the, the largest sandwich company in the world did. They went from cold to hot and offer both formats. We're going to do the flip on that and we're going to go from hot to cold. So we feel our primary product will be hot, but there are some customers that enjoy a cold sandwich and we want to be able to offer that to them. We've been talking with Jeff Sinelli of Witch Witch and Bergesa Burger. Check out the next part of this series as we explore what it takes to be a leader with guts. For Food Channel Pro, I'm Ellen Kodiff.